But he wrote here, or he not wrote here, but said to me here, it's going to create havoc in December this year. And that's what a lot of mathematical resources are geared towards. Now, because it does, this, does the same thing and, it's, uh, and it and exhibits the same sort of attributes as planet X, where the comet speeds up and slows down, in addition to all that, the orbit, as we understand it now, where the trajectory of this comet is going uh, to be, is going to be hitting hundreds of these meteors and asteroids like a cue ball on a pool table bouncing off the other balls. There are three countries now working in space trying to minimize the risk of the incoming debris or comets. And this, and, and excuse me, and with this uh, comet coming, it is creating a lot of issues. So all the estimates and everything like what's going to, what it's going to hit, where and if there's going to be any impacts is sort of being thrown out the window because they don't know what effects this comet is really going to have on everything. So they are trying to come up with probabilities, but unfortunately there is just too many variables going on right now. There's even consideration right now that there is going to be very a bad solar storm probably in March of next year, and that solar storm is going to kick off a large number of volcanic activity and earthquakes. They're planning to halt mining exploration because of this December comment and creating so many problems. There's just so many variables. It's just like shooting, again, a cue ball on a pool table. And the chances are extremely high that there is something going to ricochet and hit the Earth. But at this point, they don't really know what, when, or why, or how. So at any rate, a lot of things are going on. And a lot of changes are taking place. I also, uh, and some of this I'll be sharing over on our Patreon channel with people as well, the temperature changes, why we're having a, a very cold winter. There's a specific reason for that. I'll get into that on our Patreon channel. Hopefully tomorrow I can post that video. But I really felt that this was critical. Because our own government, is aware of a battle that is coming that we normally just look at as a spiritual battle. And in one way, it is a spiritual battle. But it's also a real battle. And without Jesus Christ and his intervention, I can see where this could very, go very, very wrongly. But thanks be to God, we do have an advocate with our Lord Jesus Christ. 